Hey YouTube, today we have a 600 watt inverter. These are in very, very short supply right now because of all the load shedding that we're facing. So I just got it and I said, let me try it out because this will be ideal, 600 watts, it's pure sine wave. It's ideal if you are working from home or even if you are camping, it's able, it's capable of powering your monitor or even a uh, any LED screen, LED TVs normally take about uh, between 70 to uh, 80 watts uh, if they are quite large and a uh, regular PC screen will probably take about maybe 50 watts. So if you want to charge your laptop and you want to be able to work during load shedding, connect your router as well to it, um, maybe your router is not 12 volts or it may, could be 19 volts. Um, this is ideal for that so it comes with these cables that you can just connect your battery but these are a bit awkward I would just disconnect them and use a, a lug to connect it to the battery it has a socket here a power socket but this socket our South African plug top will not work with this so a regular two pin will work here but if it's if there's an appliance that requires an earth, then you need to just convert this if you want to connect uh, an earth to it. It's got a lead acid function and a lithium iron. It's got a USB as well. And this is just to switch the inverter off and on. And this little LCD screen will display the voltage of your battery. So I'm going to connect it to a battery now and then connect it to, an, to a hair dryer. And let's see how it behaves. Okay, so I've got a... 12 volt 18 amp hour battery connected to it I've got a 1200 watt hair dryer and remember that this is a, just a 600 watt inverter however peak power is 1200 watts so peak power means that it will be able to sustain a power draw of 1200 watt maybe for about one to two seconds right and I'll demonstrate to you what that means now remember with a pure sine wave because this is a a hair dryer it requires a pure sine wave inverter because it's running a motor inside right anything that uses a motor it needs pure sine wave if it's modi modified sine wave then it's not going to work properly so i'm going to turn the inverter on my hair dryer is off let's switch it on there it's sitting at 12.6 volts and i just charge this battery completely now, if I use a hair dryer on number one, which means it should draw about say 50%, so say 600 watts. So let's see what happens then. Okay, so it's able to sustain that much of power draw, about 600 watts, and there was no fault recorded. However, you did notice that the, the battery voltage was fluctuating there. Now, I'm gonna go for maximum power. 1200 watts and let's see what happens okay so as predicted it's able to sustain peak power of 1200 watts for about three seconds after which it reported a fault and it disconnected power uh, the power output so this is quite a nice inverter i believe it's a pure sine wave inverter it's, it does what it says on the sticker so let me know what you think of it in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing thank you